Nicholas Gay in the peach and the Generals. Here's Lorenz with some great stick work as he takes a look, drops it back. A shot coming, they score! Greg Getzel got a piece. It's one, nothing for the men in black. You'll see Graves runs into one of his teammates, breaks his stick in half, and when he's going around the ice trying to find where the other half of his stick is, Betzel takes advantage, sneaks in from the top of the slot. He's uncontested as the puck pops right to him and he bangs it right into the back of the net for his 18th goal of this season. Puck ahead of Graves, takes him into the corner boards. Garland pokes at it. Cornell there too, comes all the way back to the left point. Jenkins to Machine. Machine, quick shot. Rebound coming out, hit the net. They score. They get a bounce. It goes back. Across the goal line, and Peterborough up 2-0 on a power play goal. And that's what happens when you stay with the puck. Betzold sticks with it, stays in front of the net. Pete's been doing a great job at sending traffic in front, and with that goal, Betzold is now sitting in sole possession in that third spot of most goals in the Ontario Hockey League. They're going to switch sides as Jenkins takes a look down low with a bat sold out in front. There's a shot. Oh, and he fanned on it. Garland, and they score. Eric Cornell. And the Peets have taken a 3 0 lead with a minute 16 to go. The captain's fourth goal in the last four periods of hockey. Logan Gauthier just couldn't recover in his crease. He got all twisted and turned around. It looked like he recovered, but then all of a sudden, his back was to the play. Cornell took full advantage and just slid it right across the net as he tried to settle into his net. Down in the corner, back to the point. Tim's with a shot. Here's Cornell, scores! Eric Cornell! Mr. November gives the Peets a 4-0 lead. And that's just the second shot on Jeremy Brodeur, and you can see the smiles on all the Pete's faces as they go down the line. It's fun to play with the lead, and these guys certainly like it. Another big crowd. Pete's are undefeated this season when the crowd is 2,600 and above. Yes, uh, we are not going out after the game. Loose puck, oh, they score. The Generals break the shutout. Van de Sample right there, and there seem to be a lot of white jerseys, not a lot of black ones there. As the Generals get on the board, they make it 4-1 with 5.39 to go in the third period. If the shutout was going to get broken, I'm glad it was Mitchell Van de Sample. He has had a great game for the Oshawa Generals. He has been one of their best players, if not the only guy who has shown up tonight. Glove save or not, the glove was up there. Here's a chance. Here's Timlick again. Timlick across. Shot they score. Jonathan Ang on a beauty pass from Adam Timlick. And the Peets had an extra insurance marker. It's 5-1, Peterborough. Four seconds left in the period. And the fans decide, well, maybe we'll make some noise here. I guess so. Their team just defeated the Generals by a score of 5-1. Matthew Mancina picks up the victory. Good shot from the north end. Good crowd up there tonight as well. Dan Malta will be coming up next with your post-game show, your three stars, and more coming up right after this. You're watching the OHL tonight on TV Kojiko.